Yo, what up guys? I gotta do a boring 20 second intro, a minor spoiler warning, cause I don't want to ruin this amazing story for anyone. It's on the season 4 Blu-ray though, so it's not really a spoiler. So if you don't want to know that kind of thing, I feel you. Close out before this next clip ends. Kingslayer! Kingslayer. 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 He's more used to us alive than dead. The dark is coming for all of us. Why cry about it? The Kingslayer! <sighs> Jamie. My name's Jamie. All right. Did you know that, quote, there was a lot more material shot for the Night King scene that didn't make the final cut? Possibly because they wanted to keep his backstory more mysterious. HBO accidentally credited the Night King as the Night's King with an apostrophe after Season 4, Episode 4. That's the name of the 13th Lord Commander. But they quickly amended the website. He no longer has an apostrophe in his name. Did HBO do that because they made a mistake? They're different people. Or did they do that to cover up the big reveal? There are hardcore, very well-versed Game of Thrones fans on both sides of this debate. But based off of reading thousands and thousands of comments over the last year and a half, it seems that there are way more fans that think that they are not the same person. I think they are. But I'm not here to convert anyone. In this video, I want to open up a discussion about the three common arguments as to why they cannot be the same guy. Because all three of those arguments are imperfect. I'd love for you to hear me out and let me know in the comments section if I'm mistaken. Alright, number one. People often write in the comments section that George R. R. Martin has said that the Night's King, the 13th Lord Commander, he is dead. But that's wrong. He never said that. A lie. Take it out. George R. R. Martin said, quote, As for the Night's King, the form I prefer, in the books, he is a legendary figure akin to Land the Clever and Bran the Builder, and no more likely to have survived to the present day than they have. So he never said dead or gone. He said no more likely to have survived. There is a lot of wiggle room there, especially for a man like George R. R. Martin, whose story is built on wordplay. A song of ice and fire relating to many things, Jockin's hair color, Jon Snow's resurrection, Jon Snow's blood, the Rhaegar and Lyanna love story. Dragons being Valyrians, specifically Targaryens. Wolves being Starks. Swords being Males Wee Wee, just to name a few. Number two, the Night's King, the 13th Lord Commander. He came after the wall was built, and the wall was built because of the White Walkers, or so we're told. So how could the Night King be the Night's King if he was the first White Walker? Because he might not be the first White Walker. The show never stated that he was. This White Walker here, he's got a crown and he's got a beard, he might be the first Night King, the first White Walker. They may have created a second Night King once the Andals arrived and began burning down the weirwood trees. And last, number three. Many fans point out that there is no Night King in the books. He's a show-only character. Fair point. He's not in the books, at least not yet. But keep in mind, the books are POV chapters, and we do not get White Walker POVs. That would be pretty cool, though. Also, we do not get the baby conversion scene in the books, but that doesn't mean that it isn't happening off-page, just like Hardhome. John does not go to hard home in the books. It happens off page. So we don't see Night King there, but he may have been there. And last, the show is ahead of the books. There's a chance that we see this scene here, the Night King creation scene, that we see that in the beginning of Winds of Winter. The Hodor scene in the middle, and this scene here towards the end. Only time will tell. But the point is, even though we have not yet seen the Night King in the books, there are at least two more books to come, so we may see him. All three of those reasons are good ones. They all have value, but none of them are solid proof. There's plenty of wiggle room. So let me know, do you think that he is a show-only character? Do you think he has a backstory? Or do you think he is just a placeholder villain with no backstory? But remember, HBO filmed scenes about him in Season 4, so he probably has a backstory. And my money's on him being the first Bastard of Winterfell, the first Lightbringer, the first Jon Snow, the 13th Lord Commander, the man who was betrayed at the Wall just like Jon, and the man who the last hero story is based upon, that story being a lie. There are no men like me. Only me.